it's repot time, it's repot time. Oh, I cannot tell you how relieved I am that it is repot time. Thank you so much for being here. I finally get to cleaning up my Lelia purpurata variety of Berghäuserie. And that is not even in shot. Gotta fix it. I'm too excited to get going. Also because I've had some extremely bad wind over the past five or six days. Not that it is a medical condition, I'm talking about climate. <laughs> that came out completely wrong. I'm fine. My digestive system is fine. It has just been incredibly windy on the patio. There wasn't even a little corner where I could find some space. That wasn't interfering with the mic, the quality of the audio. So now I'm just going to make sure that I don't ruin it myself by putting the mic too close to the transmitter and we have the situation that a new route has attached itself very readily and happily <laughs> to the edge of the pot i mean this orchid's been soaking for uh, over an hour now how quickly time flies with calcium magnesium and some seaweed just to make it a little bit easier to dislodge the roots that was successful and my pot is broken and all these things are going on at the moment but still huh, i'm getting down to it whoopie doo and that's importante and we have flex and there's still quite the breeze going but i'm going to try and protect the mic somehow you see how quickly this pot just flung off a piece of it yeah okay it doesn't seem to be a very big repot which is amazing very happy about that because I have other orchids to get to and I'm hoping to film an orchids and stories with another Lelia purpurata which I think is in actual fat pot bound and that root ball needs a thorough thorough cleanup. I'm going to save my support because I have a feeling we're going to need it and I'm going to save my tag which I kept because it's always got this beautiful picture as part of the ID and I love to see this bloom even though I have it memorized in my head when I look at the orchid it's still nice to see that tag. Okay let's remove the garbage. It's not too bad. These roots are viable. These are not. Just peeling off. Oh <laughs> happy days happy days. Let's see what we've got. I want to keep that root safe. I don't mind the moss. Just want to see if I want to remove something from the back other than the dead roots. It has been quite the hustle on the patio the past days. I cannot tell you. At one point I thought I was winning and then at another point I thought, oh, this is not working. I had the RO system filling up with water up to about 3 a.m. one night because it takes me an hour on a normal day, breezy day like this, it takes me an hour to go around the patio and get everything misted where I have to mist. And then take your time, Nina. It was on its way out anyway. Oh, huh, that was lucky. Yeah, so that takes me an hour when I've got a regular windy day like today. But all oh, those five days, it wasn't like everything needs to be saturated. I just made sure that everything had some semblance of humidity around it and I was going round and round and round in circles with my sprayer. <laughs> it was quite, quite the act to keep everything up and wow. Even at night at around 10 o'clock, I would go around one more time. But yeah, so nice to be able to repot this orchid because even during the spring she was growing some roots and I couldn't get to her because of my diabolical conditions back then and it was too cold and I didn't have supplemental light and all that stuff. Oh, and I was watching the roots grow. I knew that she had plenty of roots in the pot. It wasn't going to be a big deal. I could leave her, but still, you know, I had to get in and get this done. I wanted to see if the spring did any kind of damage that I couldn't basically see because my pots aren't transparent. And no, it's not bad at all. Wow. Oh, the relief. The relief. The other Lelia purpurata that I'm going to be doing. <laughs> um, yeah, she has much more of an extensive root system. And that 
is just going is already climbing out of the pot and branching out of the pot so that'll be a sit down job and it'll be attached with a story but this one just to get my hands in a pot again happy days makes me feel so much better it gives me confidence for the coming winter spring season if i have a repeat of the worst spring on record for this area of southern spain <laughs> gives me confidence it's going to be okay and I don't have to freak out what happened last spring I tell you I have never experienced before and not even as a human being down here but as an orchid grower panic and anxiety kicked in should that be a repeat in the coming season well I will be sort of a veteran when it comes to adverse conditions and letting the orchids do what orchids do survival of the fittest or hey perish that is how my collection will evolve and you know some will work much better and grow much better than others by jove i think it is it let's get some water on here spray her down and see if there's any more that i've missed <laughs> Fantastic! I can film this almost in real time. Minus the dogs barking, which I'm editing out. But look! Beautiful purpurata roots doing what they do. They can look dead and then look at this. So we've got branching going on. Yay! Even this one that looks nasty in the back. Got branching and we're getting photobombed by a fantastic root tip. Oh, that <laughs> makes me so happy. I want to cry. Oh, let's get her potted up. So you can see that I have in the previous pot a mix of small and large lecker all mixed together. I may just go with large lecker this time around. We'll have to wait and see because I'm bumping her up a pot size. The reason being large lecker will help me in adverse conditions to keep the pot on the drier side. When I flush, it won't be so saturated with water, even though I am not letting the pot dry out. But large lecker gives me more options to control the climate of the pot should it get horrible, cold, nasty and no light again in 2023. You see how dirty this pot is? It's actually clean, but these are just stains. Seaweed, old roots, whatever. Can't scrub that off. And that is why my other pots are breaking because in the past I used to use bleach to get it off. And in doing so, I removed the protective coating of whatever it is around the pots. And uh, yeah, that is why they turned all brittle. And I'm gonna bump this orchid up from a 15 centimeter pot now to an 18 centimeter pot because if I want her to be in here for two more years, she's got plenty of space. She was last repotted in 2020. Normally, I say two to three years for a semi-hydro or a self-watering pot to be rejuvenated, a root ball cleanup, etc. I could have easily left her again for next year. But <laughs> I was nervous about my preparatas in the spring because even their color started changing. They went from beautiful lime green leaves all the way to almost green again because of the lack of light. I'm not going to put a support in. But what I'm going to do with this one is I am going to respect the orchid in the back edge of the pot like that. Normally I like to now pop my orchids into the middle, but she clearly has one direction of growth. If I wanna be able to keep her in here for two more years, then I want her in the back. Should I be so lucky to get another eye to develop? Well, that would be amazing and we'll deal with that when the time comes, but I doubt it very, very much. Well, let's just fill up with water and see where we're at and fill around with lecker. Woohoo! Oh gosh, here's one positive though about this summer, even though it's not really a summer. One positive is this year I've got water. Yep, this time last year I was struggling with RO water and I had to make some calculated decisions and I thought I could mix my tap water with RO water to stretch it a little bit. Oh, it was a nightmare. I don't have that this year, so hey, bring on the wind. I've got water, no complaints. 
just, I can't film under these conditions. I can't put up an umbrella. It would just fall over. I can't film because the mic would not pick up my sound. It was that bad. And then the clanging and the banging, it's just no. Do we need to add more? As a matter of fact, no, we don't. We just need to sort a little bit its arrangements out and maybe even take some away. Let's see if we can't get the root to grow down. But I'm going to fill the reservoir up with some calcium and magnesium and let it grow, let it grow, let it grow. Woohoo! Quick repot, happy days! Thank you. If you watched this video, I appreciate your company. It was so good to be back on the patio again, getting my hands into a pot and getting my peace of mind back. Now I know that as I proceed into the next winter spring, these are going to be fine because they did quite well considering what we were up against early in the year. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really appreciate you spending time with me. I wish you a very beautiful day on one condition though, that you please stay safe. Take care. Bye.